Hi guys, so today I have a pretty good size haul for you guys from uh, Daiso. I just recently went to the one in Oceanside, California, and um, it's like five miles further than the one in Miramesa now where I live. And the Miramesa one used to only be five miles from my house. So it's like, uh, so if I have to go to the one in Miramesa, I have to think about it. If I go to the one in Oceanside, which I've never been to, um, it just so happens I had to go on base to Camp Pendleton because my daughter got reassigned doctors and she has to go on base. So, um, and her little eye was kind of puffy yesterday, so it's basically allergies, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything else, you know? So I took her and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go to Daiso. I've never been to it. I always drive by, well, not always. I hardly ever go to the base unless I, like, absolutely have to. Um, so, and my husband goes there every day, obviously, except for the weekends most of the time. But, um, so on the way out, I stopped in there and it is the best Daiso. Well, it's not the best one I've been to. There's uh, better ones in the Bay Area that I just love but it's a good size and they have so many things but i guess it's probably because the other daiso in miramesa california is right next to h mart and h mart is a korean market and they have everything you would want so like as far as food products and things like that so this other daiso has more food it has tons more crafts like it was just i love it but real quick before i get to that um i think these are still available on crafters companion and you guys i had shown you one of their i call it blind bag but i guess they're kind of bargain bag or uh, mystery bag but now they have ones that are 30 bucks I know the last one I showed you was $25 but this one supposedly has uh, $120 worth of stuff in there I mean obviously you can parse that out however you want but I did go ahead and order because they have five different types so there's like a Sheena one which I pretty much have all the Sheena stuff so I'm like well I don't want to do that because I might just get more of her same things I already have um, there's a die cutting one so I got that one even though I have a lot of their dies I pretty much have yeah a lot of their dies um, but some of the older stuff like, you know, before I got into buying their dyes, maybe that's something they'll put in there. I don't know. Um, there's a stamping bag, I believe. Um, a sewing and like that kind of craft bag. And then the fifth one, a Christmas bag. And I was like, you know, what? I don't have a lot of the Christmas stuff. So I did Christmas and I did die cutting. So, um, and again, I get 20% off now because uh, in their club and I, you, know, you can calculate how much money I had to spend to get that. But they gave us 250 extra bonus points when I first signed up a couple weeks ago. So, or about a month ago now. Um, they might still have that if you sign up for their Club Inspire. I'm not sure. But um, it bumps you up, basically, um, a good amount. So you get discounts at different levels. So, um, you know, my bag was 20% off of the 30 so uh, $24. And then like the $25 bag I got for just over 20 bucks. And you guys saw there was some great stuff in there. So go check it out. This is the link. Obviously I have it here, but I don't know what it says. Let me click on that for you guys and see what it says. Because I'm sure when you go to their web page, um, it'll be on there. And you saw it said Crafters Companion UK and then it switches over to Crafters Companion U like in the US. So that's good. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just bargain bags. So maybe you want to look up bargain bags if you don't see it on their main page as far as like where you can click. I guess I should have done that initially, and I could have just told you what bags they have, right? But anyway, okay. So Miranda walks in, and of course, first thing she sees are these, these little pens, and she wants a couple of them. She wanted all of them, but I said, no, that's too many. So she chose the ones that I probably wouldn't have chosen. They had this cute one that looks like uh, ice cream. So again, Daiso, everything's $1.50 unless it's marked otherwise. And they're squishy, and she loves squishy stuff like all the kids do nowadays. So she got those. She got herself some Pucky, um, some other items, but um, Sherry opened them, so they're, that's gone. I can't show them. But as soon as I walked in, you guys, they have a whole new, like, two aisles of Disney stuff. And I was like, oh, cute, because it was, like, stationary stuff. I'll get to it. Obviously, the bag is just everything's thrown in there. Um, but then as you go around, they had baking stuff, and they had stuff for the house. They had cups. And I'm like, what the heck? I have too many mugs. So it killed me not to buy any mugs, but I really do have too many mugs. So they have this Winnie the Pooh um, little, uh, you can use this for brownies, cakes, whatever. I just thought it was adorable. Look at that. And then their silicone ones are usually three bucks. And they didn't charge any more because it's Disney. So I thought that was kind of interesting. A lot of times when it's licensed, they charge you more. And to be honest, well, I mean, it says Disney. And then she says, oh, yeah, we only carry it once in a while. Um, and it's licensed, uh, you know, at the beginning of the school year type thing. I was like, well, I've never seen it before. And I go to Daiso, like, all the time, especially when I live near there. So I don't know. But anyway, uh, look at the Little Monsters Inc. one with... How cute to make, like, Jello Jigglers with this. Oh my gosh, super adorable. Or your silicone um, uh, little items, right, that people like to do. Um, so as I go through here, it's not going to be very organized. I have a ton more Disney, but like it's all thrown together. So I am just going to grab stuff and talk about it. Oh, okay, so they have these Disney stamps. I have two of them. The other one is the little hand 
this one's the Mickey. And basically you can stamp that into a cookie or press it into whatever you like, but um, I don't know if it'll cut the cookie. I honestly don't even want it to because the cookie's gonna get stuck in there. So I would probably just cut my cookies, you know, at the circle stamp, uh, cookie cutter, and then just lightly press that stamp into it. And you always want to refrigerate your sugar cookies before you bake them. That way that impression will stay nice and it'll look cool. Um, this little tiny one, more of a candy mold. Um, it's just chocolate mold on this one, but it's all the different characters. I'm gonna end up having to put this stuff like on the floor somewhere. I always make a big mess when I do my hauls, guys, because it's just like ridiculous. Um, trying to get the Disney stuff, like I said, it's just not gonna work out. I think. Well, okay. So some of the stationary stuff, like this portfolio is super cute. It's a dollar fifty, and what I liked about it, if I scroll up, it's gonna look horrible, guys. Uh, let me go up a little more. I'm gonna open this up to show you. So they had Minnie Mouse, they had Mickey Mouse. I only grabbed one of each. I think I gotta leave some for other people. But um, I just thought it was super cute because it does have a fastener and it opens up this way. So it has the three panels and then inside it has some areas so you can put your little whatever papers and stuff in, which is kind of cute. So that's one. Then they had the Mickey Mouse one. And when I first had walked in, they had these folders and I had new like panda and like gold, like pineapple designs and really cute stuff. This little panda design they've been using for a long time. So this is a two pocket portfolio, nice plastic, uh, thick, sturdy for whatever you need it for. Usually my kids, whenever they go back to school, they need a folder, um, for the back and forth kind of thing. Sometimes the teacher provides it, but then they always will want another one. So I always, uh, get something cute. Oh, okay. So here's some more cute items so like I said it was just they had stationery they had just tons of stuff um, bags their little plastic bags the organizing bags what I like about these is they're super thick they're not just like ziploc they're not super like flimsy you know what I'm saying they're just nice so I have this little Mickey one um, this one with uh, the mini with her little flower in her hat Minnie, you are fabulous 100% too cute <laughs> this one's hard to see but it's a Pooh Bear one hopefully oh, the glare and everything is horrible sorry it says cute as can be and then be with two E's of course, with B. Um, oh, I grabbed felt. I think I showed you guys these long felt rolls in the last time, but they only had pink. So these are huge. This is like if you're needing a big amount, like you could probably make a costume out of this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? The pieces are that big, they're like yards. So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna grab more of the Mickey stuff to try to keep that together, but um, really cute little paper set, stationery set. I grabbed two of them uh, with the Aloha and the Minnie and Mickey and the little stickers and everything. Super adorable. Okay, so initially the reason I even went there was just to grab these calligraphy pens because they are very good. They have the brush tip and then they have a calligraphy tip and they both work awesome. So I grabbed some for me and I grabbed some for the giveaway to include. Basically, I'm going to do a giveaway probably maybe, what, tomorrow? Sure, why not? Um, Crafters Companion stuff. Uh, so I'll include some of these because these are really good. So I picked those up for everybody. I grabbed a little uh, nail clipper from Randa. I don't know what her nail clipper is. And her nails are out of control. So I used like the regular size clipper and hey, that's not good. And then um, they had all kinds of bags, you guys, like craft paper bags, gift bags of, you know, all the Mickey stuff. So I just got these cute little adorable uh, ones because sometimes I give people like my neighbors or whoever, I give them like tomatoes and whatever I grow in my garden, like the little mini tomatoes too would be super cute or just two or three, you know, regular size ones. I thought that was a cute way to give them out. So I will be doing that. You always want to present your vegetables, you know, in the cutest way possible. Um, let's see here. So like I said, I grabbed clear pencils, some for me, some for you guys. Um, they had washi tape and what they call masking tape. So I think it's more like just your regular masking tape. Well, the masking tape is kind of thin, like papery, um, but not washi. So they had washi and they had masking. So these are Mickey and Minnie tapes. Excuse me. Um, what do we got here? This one is um, the princess tape, it's a little thicker. Uh, this one just has the little cupcakes and things and to be honest I for totally forgot that I wanted to get stuff for giveaways So I, I grabbed the pens and I didn't think about it when I was looking at this stuff. So sorry um, 
I don't know that I have any of that to give away, but these are just little, you know, your little tabs and things. I like to put these in like my planner for different reasons. And this is our um, Toy Story and Monsters, Inc. They have these cute little craft buttons that I just picked up because they're adorable. I mean, how cute are those? And I include things like this and a lot of my crochet items or things I make for Miranda or whatever. So they were really cute. The buttons there. Um, Oh, and this is the other style that was telling you, like the pineapple stuff. And the reason I grab these is I don't really do index cards anymore. Obviously, my kids do, or my older son. I told him index cards are like what you need to do. Like, I use them all the time in college. But anyway, um, I just figure I can grab other things like these little, you know, dies or just anything else that's kind of small that I have around my desk here that I can see many reasons to put them in here. Uh, so I grab these guys again, $1.50. Super cute. Oh, I wanted to share with you guys that they had a new flavor of Haichu, and now it's new to me. I don't know if you guys... Um, caramel apple, and I was like, I love caramel apple. Like, those lollipops, the ones with the caramel on the outside that are green. Those flat ones, what are they called? I can see them in the packaging in my head, but I can't remember their name. So I grabbed a few of those, and then they happened to have extra in them, which was cool. Acai, which I don't even know what acai berry really tastes like anyway. So I grabbed that, and I grabbed a banana, and I grabbed mango ones, but my kids already ate the other bananas and the other mango. Let me open this acai one to try it, because like I said, I don't even know what this tastes like to begin with. So if you don't know about Haichu, it's just like a chewy candy, but it really does have a very fresh taste. It's not like a fake flavor. That is really good. <laughs> this reminds me more of a blueberry flavor. If you ate candy, that was like... Maybe raspberry. It's really good. So, on the outside, it has like the coloring. On the inside, it's like white like this. And it's chewy, but chewy in a way that's kind of different. Like, bouncy. Not like Starburst. It's, um... Or now and later. It's kind of different. Kind of a marshmallow ear consistency. Okay, now that I'm going to eat that for like two minutes. Sorry, guys. They had some cute stuff to make eggs, and you know, my kids, we love eggs, okay. I'm always doing fun things like that with rice or whatever. So this is a microwave cooker, and so you just drop your little eggs in there, and then it cooks up in the shape of a heart or whatever. There's a larger circle, and I believe there's... Oh yeah, so at the bottom here, oh, this is interesting, this has two. Or what? Mm -hmm. So it's saying you should scramble your egg and put it on the smaller side. And you have two small circles, two little hearts, but if you want to do like a whole big egg, there's a big circle and a big heart. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just for one type of thing. So pretty cool. This one helps you make like the little thin omelets that you would put like sometimes in sushi or like as decoration or um, sandwiches. There's lots of different reasons you would do eggs like this if you're into Asian cooking that you would recognize why you would want that. So I thought that was kind of cool. We'll see if it works. Um, I do like my egg a little toastier than just like that, so maybe I'll throw it in the pan afterwards so it has the shape and then gets a little crispy little color on it. Um, Miranda loves beads, and she has been making her own little bracelets. Dude, she's four years old. She started braiding hair, I told you guys, like on her dolls. I was like, what are you doing? That's crazy. And she'll sit there with her little bead, her little plastic, you know, in her hand, and she puts the little beads on there, and she makes her little bracelets. She's made, like, so many bracelets already with those wood beads I showed you guys from the Dollar Tree and some other little wood um plastic beads I already had so i hope this was good like she's been like let's do this let's do it. i'm like let me haul it and then i'll <laughs> i'll let you do it so i have some other items not just this one but there's one of them that's what she wants you can even put those buttons on there anyway um so they had these paper handicrafts not too long oh last a couple years ago remember i think i got a pumpkin and i never did it so i had to find those because people were curious about uh, making that kit so basically it's just like these strips Kind of rattan looking stuff. I don't know. It reminds me of like um, the stuff you use for wrapping. I don't know how to explain it. Like raffia, but really tight, right? So it's woven in these strips here. And then um, they tell you or they show you how to weave it to make this little circle, little cute uh, cup, right? So I thought that was kind of adorable. So it comes with the red, it comes with the white, and then you basically need everything else. The glue, the, you know, pins and rulers and all that stuff. But I grabbed this one, I grabbed one other one, which I don't see here, so we'll get to it. Um, this is to make a fluffy pancake. Now, I've been wanting one of these, uh, I think I bought two of them because basically I want to make a couple at a time. Because it makes those thick Japanese pancakes. And um, I thought, why not? So it says what's okay is to use a cooktop, but not okay as an induction cooker, which I could see why. 
Um, so it's just a little silicone pan. And I guess you place it inside your pot, I would assume. I don't think you're just going to put this right onto the fire, yeah. So kind of cute. Um, the little egg shaper for a bear, or you can use this basically for pancakes if you wanted to. I don't see why not. Yeah, the picture is a pancake. And then this one um, makes the little shape of a sandwich, which is kind of funny because we do make a lot of fried egg sandwiches, but I usually just fry the egg and then just throw it on there. But that'd be kind of cute if it has a little fake shape of a sandwich. Um, adorable silicone little bears, which are super cute. With their little muzzle and everything. Um, I don't remember if I got this one, guys, last time. I think I might have now that I look at it. It makes like little jar looking cookies. And then in the middle, you can do that cool thing. Remember when you were kids in the 80s? Well, me, in the 80s. That was like the thing to do. You crush up candies and you put it in there for like Christmas time. And everybody thought it was adorable. Like stainless, or not stainless. What am I talking about? Uh, what's it called? Glass. What's that stuff called? You guys will remind me. I'll think about it for a minute. Um, anyway, I got some awesome origami paper because they have some stepped up origami paper. Look at that with that gold shimmer on there. But there's only 10 sheets in each of these. Um, normally they sell like packs of 100, you know, so there's 10 sheets for the same price. So obviously they're a little more expensive. Look how pretty though. Oh, and this one was super cool. It's like acetate. It's uh, 20 pieces in here. And then they show you on the outside that has information how to do an um, envelope or a triangle pyramid. And then obviously you can use it as a wrapper. But I thought that was kind of cute. I love that. To use that. I'll give a nice feel to your origami. Um... I'm still trying to think of what's that called. Guys, what's it called? Like at a church. <laughs> Can I think of the name? Uh, anyway, we have our little, um, the little handprint one that I was telling you guys about. And then they have these adorable ones. And this one I was like, do I really need this? Because I'm never going to bake in it. Look how tiny this is. It's so tiny. But how cute is that? Such a classic little shape. So it might have to be a chocolate mold. We'll see. Um, they make little donuts. And then this one too is also a little chocolate mold. It has a little cat and um, bear and rabbit. And they had tons of these molds. Like way more than like the other location I normally go to. So I still only selected a few even though it seems like I got all of them. They had tons. Tons more. The little tiny um, cookie cutters. Again, I think I had got these last time but they were basically for Miranda to play with her Play-Doh. So I wanted some for actual cookies. So this stuff is fabric on a roll. And what I thought was fun about this is that you could die cut it, I'm sure, and then it already has a stickiness on it, you know what I'm saying? Like if we die cut it a certain way, I would probably have to put it on something that it wouldn't stick to that. But I just like the idea of doing that and the fabric feel, it's pretty cool. And it has like little gold accents on it. Um, I grabbed a couple of these, they're super adorable. This is the one, okay, this one has popsicles and like crowns and stuff, and then it has a little dispenser, it's washi tape. And I grabbed one to give away, oh, this one. Um, it's little unicorns and just cute stuff. So I grabbed that one to give away. Oh, there, there. Cute little button cover kit. Um, I'm probably going to give this one away because I got two of them. I got a larger one and a smaller one. I'm just going to give one of them away because it's kind of fun. It comes with a little um, thing that helps you make your buttons. And then you can use it for different crafts and do whatever you want. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I'll put this one over here. Um, parchment paper, which I use all the time, so I do like getting cheap, kind of like from the Dollar Tree. They have it sometimes, sometimes they don't, so they have it at so I grabbed some. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Oh, the little rice paddle. A Mickey Mouse rice paddle, you guys, for $1.50. I mean, come on. I'm always making rice, so that's fun. And then glue sticks. So what's kind of cool about the glue sticks is that you can use this stuff as a um, a seal, like a wax seal. And I told you guys I was going to be working with wax seals more often. So they had these glue sticks, the black one, they had a white one, they had in clear, obviously clear. They had glow in the dark ones. I'm like, well, that's kind of odd. Um, and then like all kinds of fashion colors, of course, but I wanted the black and the white, so I grabbed those. And then again, that little tape that's made of fabric with the little Asian designs, super cute. Um, and this is the other button cover kit. This is a little bit larger. They had like four or five different sizes. I was like, ooh, people are really into making their own buttons apparently because <laughs> they had lots of them. Um, I'm like bending down, going deep here. We have this stuff. Okay, so again, 
I grabbed the pens for giveaway. I'll separate those out. Oh, I did get some of the brush twin pen set. The only because I wanted to try this. Supposedly both sides are a brush and there's a thinner and a larger side. So really nice for lettering. Um, oh, here's the other little pancake thing. Uh, what do we got here? This one is interesting. It says embroidery button. I'm like embroidery button. But basically you would take your needle and do whatever you want on here. And you can embroider or just make it look like a flower bloom or do your own little thing. Or like kind of weave it. I thought that was really fun. So really cute. Just something different to try out for like Miranda's little hair things. This is the other one. I probably should have got a couple of these. This one's super adorable. It's a paper band handicrafts kit again, but this one makes a little basket with a lid. Now that is precious. They had like four or five different designs, but I thought this was really cute along with the little teacup one. So I grabbed those. I'm gonna leave them out here because I know people have asked about those. So maybe I'll try it out soon. Um, oh, here's the other one, plastic chain. Now this one makes the little heart like bracelets, they're hearts, um, and you just link them together. So I think Miranda's gonna really love those. Um, this is the origami paper that was just too cute. They only had two packs of this unicorn one left. Of course, everyone loves everything unicorn, so I grabbed both packs that they had. And then this one is uh, just really pretty kind of soft colors and things, so really fun origami paper. Got it over here. We're getting to the bottom of the bag, guys. Okay, I was gonna say, I know I had one more egg mold. Yeah, so this one, again, a mini fried egg maker, it says. And I didn't realize the other one basically did the same with the smaller. But this one has two levels to it, which is actually really adorable if you look at it. There's a bottom and then an upper. So, like, when you cook it up, it looks really cute. Um, there's a heart, a flower, a little bear, and a star. Um, this is the tape I got for myself. And another, again, another one of these brush pens. And these are really good. So let me, this is a number, ooh, I don't know what, I don't know how big this one is. But let me show you really quick why I like these. And they even sell the Sumi like regular straight up pen, you know. Um, I have some scrap paper here. Oh, and then they had the larger button too. I just realized I got the larger and the smaller ones. I think this is going to be fun. Try that out. Anyway, I just have some scrap paper here that Miranda... And the pen... Hopefully... Oh, sorry. Hopefully you can see... I haven't done my brush lettering in a while. <laughs> I have not been practicing, guys. Ooh, that's not bad, though. But look how pretty that is. And look at the brush. $1.50, you guys. And the ink is super dark. You know? I don't have to do too much work to make it work. Right? I mean, that's not bad. Okay, so yes, I, you know, I need more practice, but like even right there. So basically, I mean, it's good. You can start off thin, go thick, start off thick, go thin, you know, whatever. It's a great pen. So I'm uh, really impressed by these, especially for the price. All right, so I'll put that to the side. Nice ink. So everyone knows they have great pens there. Oh, here's the other one. I was going to say, well, I know she got three types of uh, beads. So this one also comes with this little elastic. Ooh, that's, sorry, that was blurry. A little pink uh, silicone-like elastic. Why is that not focusing? Here we go. Probably because I came in to show you guys the pens, right? Really cute. And I hope that, last but not least, some snacks. I do have some things from HSN that came in recently that I want to review for you guys, but I'll do a video separate on that. Let's just leave this guy so and leave it at that. So these, people like to eat these just to eat them, okay? If you can see, the flavor is on the noodle. <laughs> it doesn't have a noodle pack, but you just throw on some hot water and you got your little soup. And this one, I think, is mild. It says chicken flavor, and this one's supposed to be spicier, I believe. Yeah, spicy flavor. And I thought I grabbed two of those, but apparently I only grabbed one of each. These are only, like, well, obviously... They were even, oh, a dollar fifty basically. And this guy, I was curious, this hot and spicy flavor by Happy Corn Snack. I like Happy. Happy makes like those little rice crackers that are super good. So let me open this up because remember the last time I opened something like this and it said hot and spicy and it was like not even close to hot or spicy. Let's check these out. It looks like rice checks. Can you see that? Okay, so it's not really spicy at all. <laughs> like seriously, a kid could eat this whole thing and like not even have a problem. It has that little, okay, it kind of goes up your nose though. I remember <laughs> watching other videos where we were like, oh, it goes up your nose. 
Okay, um, it has a flavor of like, when you buy like cheap chips that are supposed to be Mexican flavor or like, like jalapeno flavor and they're like corn chip, not corn, yeah, what, corn chips basically, like cheap ones. They have a little jalapeno flavor, like a little bit of heat, but not really anything. That's what those taste like, but they're good. I like the crunch, so that's always good. I grabbed this one basically for the same reason. I think this is a sweet one though. This is um, rice cracker, but it looks like it's like the sweet kind of kind of caramel flavor. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. I would love to eat these. I just don't want to open them now since I just opened the other pack. We gotta eat those. Um, these are some of my favorite cookies and we used to eat these as a kid and I don't know where my mom would get them or what, but obviously we're Mexican and like these were super good, but I know they're an Asian like treat. But in our town where I grew up in Reedley, there were a lot of um, Asian people, there's a lot of Latinos, and um, and you kind of shop together, right? We like the same kind of things, like fresh vegetable, like everything is a certain way, and that's what we like. So um, I think that's where she would get them, like at this one store called Johan's. We used to love going to Johan's. But anyway, that is actually one of the first places that used to sell Sanrio stuff. Like in the back corner, they had like um, like a little like cute kind of area because you know they just have things like that, and they had Hello Kitty stickers, like those little tiny booklets you could buy for like a quarter and. Um, stuff like that, and I think I even got a pencil case there, but some of those things were overpriced But I thought they were so cute like since I was a really small kid So I think that's where I, my addiction started and then the Hallmark store started selling them in like Visalia a town nearby at the mall That's where they had more of the Hello Kitty stuff. But anyway um, So I really love that the culture is just kind of mixed there and it was like awesome So I always liked these kind of things so these I love and then I started seeing them at like dollar stores or like 99 cent store might have these because I guess they're kind of cheap I don't know but if you go to an Asian market and you see the sesame cookies, they either look like this, or it says Parrot. There's a Parrot brand, and they're set up the other way, so they're thin this way, and you don't really see through the package. And this way, you see through the package, and you can see them, but they're amazing. They're light and airy and taste like coconut with, like, a little sesame flavor on it with, like, a little honey um, glaze. It's not really a glaze, but it's just, like, on it really simply. It's so good. This, I don't know, I just grabbed it because it's called Almond Peak. Why not? And this one looks like it has, like, little... Um, cookie wafer stuff in it. Um, the other one they had was just chocolate. So I was like, well, I'll try this one. It's gonna be crunchy. This was 250 though. So hmm, it better be worth it. We'll see. Um, I think that's it. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Other than some of this cracker stuff. This is normally the stuff I get by Happy, that Happy brand, H-A-P-I. Um, but this one's supposed to be fancy. So I was like, oh, we'll have to try it. No MSG, which is always good. Non-fried, I don't know. I guess maybe it's baked. But the only thing is it doesn't have the little wasabi peas in it. This is a packet that keeps it fresh. So, good snacks. Love that stuff. Of course, the kids all got Pocky. Miranda ate hers. This is Dorian's. He just left it here for some reason. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I always forget something, and I want to mention it later. But, yeah, check out that Crafter's Companion, um, you know, bargain bags and see what's up. And I'll talk to you guys, or see you at the next one, should I say. Bye now.